doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor. Good day and uh, welcome on behalf of uh, Bloomberg, Africa Investor and the African Union's uh, Development Agency's Continental Business Network, the CBN, to the first African Asset Owners series on co-investment partnerships. My name is Hubert Danso, I'm the CEO and Chairman of Africa Investor, the CBN and the African Sovereign Wealth and Pension Fund Leaders Forum and I'm going to be chairing the opening scene setting panel on delivering on Agenda 2063 and the 5% Infrastructure Investment Agenda. Uh, this is the first event of a three-part series with Bloomberg for 2020, um, which will feature two panels. Uh, the panels will be focused on the African Union's 5% Infrastructure Investment Agenda, which is our African Asset Owners um, Partnership Compact with African Heads of State to increase investment allocations to infrastructure as an investable asset class from um, a current sort of mid-low of around 1% to uh, at least 5% of assets uh, under management. And this will be done um, within a new framework called an Institutional Investor Public uh, Partnership, IIIP, um, as used in Canada and Australia and elsewhere successfully around the world. Agenda 2063, as many of you know, is Africa's equivalent and complement to the UN Sustainable uh, Development Goals. As I mentioned, there are going to be two panels. So the second panel for today will cover global co-investment partnerships in support of the 5% uh, agenda. So I'm going to be chairing the first uh, African Asset Owners Perspective uh, panel. And Manus Cranny, who is the co-anchor from Bloomberg, will chair the second Global Asset Owners Partnerships panel. Today's theme represents the outcome of the CBNs and the African Sovereign Wealth and Pension Fund Leaders Forums co-investment, I mean, COVID-19's uh, uh, consultative roundtable series, uh, which was investigating the role and response of African institutional investors to the COVID-19 pandemic. That process led to this particular series and us launching the outcomes report here today, the African Asset Owners Investment Partnerships in support of Agenda 2063, the African Investment Partnerships We Want report. This report is our roadmap, uh, our economic roadmap on future-proofing Africa through asset owner investment partnerships to build resilience for achieving Agenda 2063 against the backdrop of COVID-19. The report put together in collaboration with Riscura, Africa Investor Capital, is a very rich feast of over 200 asset owner investment partnership recommendations, 100 future-proofing initiatives, and over 50, uh, 500 sorry, investment products um, that are really bringing together what we um, are, it was basically being described now as the African Asset Owners Statement of Interdependence, our real partnership now with the public sector. Um, this seminal report symbolizes the African investment community's choices um, in our voices and represents our unwavering commitment and support to Agenda 2063 the 5% infrastructure investment agenda, and the $3.2 trillion African continental free trade area. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.